So it was Black Lives Matter. Um, obviously, we didn't get to choose from, you know, our own thoughts and, you know, things like that. So just went down a list of all the things and could have been a number of things that, you know, on that list I would have chosen. I know if I could have chosen my own, I would have chosen the name Michael Brown okay. from the Ferguson um, incident in 2014. And that's something that's very close to me being from St. Louis. Um, I actually remember vividly during that time, you know, I was in high school and it was all that was going on, you know, 10 minutes away from where I live. So um, if I could have chosen that, I would have put that name on the my chair. Uh, I remember, you know, obviously I remember all the, the protests, um, the riots at nighttime. I remember seeing tanks, you know, the National Guard brought in tanks were being driven down the highway. And I think, honestly, that might have been the first time I ever seen a tank in real life um, in St. Louis. That was just, it was crazy to see that. And um, it kind of was like, uh, it was like eye opening to myself. Because obviously, unfortunately, when things like this happen, a lot of times it's in another city or another state. So it's like you feel connected in a way being a black man. But when it happened in St. Louis, I've been in that neighborhood. I knew who he was. He was only two years older than me. It happened 10 minutes away. It really hit me like, man, like it can't happen to anybody. That could have been me. Uh, I'm not too far removed. You know, it's not another state. It was 10 minutes away. So that really was like, um, I mean, I had so many array of emotions at that time. It was, it was, uh, you know, just really unfortunate.